Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today we are in the city of Crater Lake. Finally, we haven't been in this city in probably a couple months. It's been a while. The last builds that we did were our Seaside Resorts DLC drop, which this build was really fun, really cool, really detailed. I ended up doing these retaining walls going around with these planters, and then we did this little uh, statue for the police department, the fire department. I thought it looked really good. And then we had built out this mid-century modern hillside build over here, which I thought this looked really cool as well with this really fun plaza in here with using this uh, mothership asset. We did some uh, pedestrian roads with some bus lanes, a couple little fountains and stuff. And so today what we're going to be doing is something a little crazy. I think with the skyscrapers content creator pack, what I've been looking at doing is redeveloping this whole area. And so I'd gotten a few comments on it in the past and I think it is finally time. So we're going to be redoing this. We're going to dezone all of this low density residential and we're going to turn it all into high density self-sufficient residential. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we need to do is get a little crazy and just dezone everything. And because I do have Rico installed, it's not going to automatically delete them. So it is kind of painstaking, but we are going to just get crazy. And so I'm going to go through here and just dezone it all as quickly as possible and then go through and delete all the buildings as well. And so now what we need to do is go ahead and set up our districts first. We're going to go into the district tab and we want to make sure that this evergreen district is covering this whole section, even though this was three separate districts. Now this is going to become our kind of midtown district since this is going to be in between our business district over here and our tech downtown over here. And so let's go ahead and fill all this in. And there we go. And so what I want to do is go ahead and set up self-sufficient buildings then also we want to have some wall-to-wall -wall commercial on this inside so i want this all to be one right here as well and so now let's go ahead and place down some services so we have schools i think i really want to get those high capacity elementaries in here so we're going to get rid of these we got rid of three four so we got rid of five and then we got one high school. We're gonna keep the libraries, possibly even place down a couple more. Let's go ahead and place down another cemetery as well, since this one is full. So we'll go ahead and cheat and get rid of that one. And then come back in here, go to cemeteries, and just place this guy down. And so now we won't have to deal with it being um, full anymore, at least in this area. I don't normally delete them, but because we're redeveloping this area, I feel like it would just be better. And so I do want to create a couple little parks in here. I think we're going to use this as a park. This is a park. This one is a park. That one is a park. And then we'll probably just extend this park out over there. But let's do these high capacity elementaries first. So I want there to be like little elementary compounds. So we'll probably go like right here we could even go like right there and just do a playground off the back you know we'll go like that and then let's go ahead and do another one over here and then we'll go ahead and do another one over here so i think three's probably good they're 800 capacity versus 300 so i think three's probably good so we'll come back through here and let's do our playgrounds now we want to just put them off this back side and we are kind of smashing into those buildings a little bit we're going to come back through and use move it though and make them just a little bit better i don't want the, them to go into the buildings. I feel like that's probably bad. So we'll come over here. Let's go. Where was the other one? Right here. Go ahead and fix that. And then let's come over here and do the same thing. Just go ahead and fix that. Make sure that those trees aren't in the building. And I think that that's probably good. So we do need to do the high school as well. And I think we'll actually put the high school over here. So let's um just get rid of those buildings at the same time. And maybe we'll even get rid of this road and then do, we'll move this over just a smidge. Let's do a couple of our sports parks. We'll grab this, come down here, place that, and then come down here. Let's go ahead and turn on Anarchy, get that in there. And then I wanna do the sports hall and gymnasium right next to this because I, I really feel like they they work well with the, with the high school. So we'll go ahead and place that right there. We are working with a little uneven terrain. This whole area is kind of on a hill. I really don't want to mess with it too much though, because I mean, it's natural for cities to have problems like this. And so they just kind of build on the hills. I do want to now extend out a couple of our roads though. So we're going to go into a two unit, probably four lane. We'll use the standard one that came with the plazas and prominence DLC. Let's go ahead and just bridge a couple of these connections just to give a little bit more access. Because we are switching to high density, we definitely would need to uh, would need to do that. The general idea with this build was that these were low density, and so I was kind of showing how you can mitigate traffic by limiting the amount of through streets, and it really goes a long ways to help out your city quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. 
And you know, that's already quite a bit better. So we got connections down here. Could probably bridge a connection right here. And so now there is enough through access for this high density neighborhoods can be a little bit better than what we had. And so let's go ahead and place down our buildings and then we can unpause it and start um, building out our parks and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and zone all this in, zone all that in, zone all this in. Just get crazy with this, zone all that in. Let's go ahead and zone this in as well. And then we are gonna be coming back through and doing some office space as well as commercial and stuff in here. I don't want it to just be residential. I want there to be like corner markets and stuff like that, especially since there's not mixed use zoning in this game. Like you'd probably have shops in the bottom of, bottoms of these buildings and stuff like that. But so we'll go ahead and go like this. Let's go back into our zoning. Go like that, perfect. Let's go like this and then go all the way around. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the zoning real quick. All right, so we got most of it zoned in. I do think we're gonna get a couple of these little corners and then let's come over here and put the zoning for, so we want it to be one off that street. We'll keep all this as low density commercial. Though I think I removed the zoning from that I did. So I'm actually gonna put that back because I think having these little commercial shops right there is important. But then we're gonna come in here. Let's do some high density commercial off of this road. And the idea behind this is that this is gonna be a very walkable neighborhood. And so people generally, like if they live in this area, they don't, they don't have to have a car. And so they could live within here and then work within one of the skyscrapers or somewhere else in the area. And I absolutely like, I love areas like this in, in cities where it's very walkable. And so I do want to do some low density commercial off of this. Let's go ahead and go three all the way down. And then I think we're going to kind of mix it in with some office space in there too. So we'll remove some of this. And this really goes a long ways to help your city look more realistic to uh, kind of switch up your zoning like this. And it's very realistic in real cities. They don't just do one blanket zoning a lot. They'll mix it up, especially around this little park area. This would be like a nice space to have like your, uh, your office at. So we'll go ahead and go like that. And then I'm just going to... Go ahead and copy that around just do some office spaces probably around the parks so i think that's pretty good there's quite a bit of um office space in there i do want to just mix in a little bit of low density commercial in there just to provide those neighborhood markets and i do three by threes just to give a little break in in spacing and size of the buildings so we'll go ahead and go like this go down so this is really going to help to uh, again make it more realistic by doing these little squares i've done this quite a bit in my cities so we'll go ahead and go like this let's go ahead and do a little corner market right there and we'll come up here let's uh, do one right in the middle i think that that's good and we don't want to get too crazy the commercial is what really generates a lot of traffic in your cities because they require deliveries and so you really want to be careful. You can get away with residential and not that optimized of a road layout, but when it comes to commercial, you definitely got to be careful because of those deliveries. The trucks have to start coming in. And so now I do want to place down a couple condos in here too before we allow these buildings to kind of come in. I want to see um, what kind of buildings we can place down. So let's uncheck vanilla and let's do condo. So I want to get a couple of these in. So I think we will, let's go ahead and do this one right there. And then let's do its cousin like right here. We'll go ahead and remove zoning around these just to give it its own little space. We'll probably um, even move that path. I think that that could be good. And so we do got a couple of these. What are these? So mixed use residential. So we got high rise condo. This one actually looks really cool. So let's um, place this one like right on the corner. We'll go like right there. So modern mid-rise condo, this one's good. So we'll place that right there. And we got modern low-rise condo. Let's actually do that. And then let's remove zoning off of this and make this into a whole little compound of its own. I think that would be nice. We could do some concrete and then do some planters and stuff. So we got these modern low-rise condos. These ones actually look really cool. I think these will fit in pretty well. So let's do a couple of these and then let's do one of those. I think that's probably good right there. Maybe even do a bigger one. So we'll go like that Come over here. We're just kind of getting crazy with this one. So let's um, now remove zoning off of those. And then I think we've got a couple more. Yeah, we do. So we got these ones as well. This one's good. So we will place that right there. And then let's, we're kind of neglecting this side. So if we come over here, place that right there, place that right there. And then we can place this one right there as well. You know what, I actually really like that. We could put the small one right next to that too. So that's like a whole little compound as well. Go ahead and um, get rid of 
the zoning off the back side of that one too and we'll do another little area for it and then let's come back in here i think we're almost done so we have this ooh, this condo one this one looks pretty cool so we'll go ahead and place that right there and let's go ahead and do that one right next to it i feel like those are similar buildings i think that that's probably good for right now i think we will still come back through and do some more buildings yeah we already got that one i think for right now that's probably good looks like this one's open though so let's go ahead and place that right there and then let's go ahead and hit play and let the city figure itself out we just probably lost like 10 or 20 000 population and so i'm gonna let it run real quick and get these buildings to kind of grow in okay so i let it run for a little bit and our buildings are coming in this is already looking pretty good we still do have some areas where they're not really grown in yet just gonna take some time but i do want to start placing down some of our skyscrapers content creator pack buildings and so we'll come in here to our unique build buildings tab scroll past all these other content creator packs and start placing some of these down let's go and get out of this view first though so we'll go ahead and place down a couple of these guys so let's place this like right there and then i think we'll put this one like right next to it if we can let's maybe move the crematorium and then let's place this building right there if we can yeah look at that i actually really like that i like that look a lot and then let's um do something fun over here too so maybe if we do this one so this is like the entrance to our area oh yeah look at that i actually think that looks cool so you're like going into the tunnels you see this huge building be better if it was like split like you could see in the middle but i still think it looks good so now i want to place these two kind of vertical buildings over here and these were the buildings that we did the cool little metro tracks in the middle of for our beginner's guide it's actually really cool we had the tracks go right in between them then i think there's a couple other that others that look like that as well so i think we'll place this over here so we'll place that right there and then let's do its little cousin next to it so that we can do a plaza in the middle Let's go ahead and place this one right here and then let's put its cousin right next to it as well i do wish that we had a little bit more space but um, i think it looks good so we'll go ahead and place that right there Ooh, this is my favorite building of the new content creator pack i think it is just such an awesome looking building i do want to get a couple of these bigger ones kind of spread out I think we're going to change them into offices as well looks like this one's actually a little too big it's not bad it's it's definitely big it looks good and I, i'm really trying to go for a cool look here and so let's um place this one now go ahead and place a couple of these down so let's do one right here and then i think we're we're definitely going to be changing some of these away from um unique buildings we're going to be doing some residentials so we'll put that one right there and let's go ahead and put the big one right next to it man and so we already got a lot going on it looks like we got a little bit of space right here and we're we're definitely running out of space pretty quick, but we'll place that right there. And so we got a lot of it in there. We still got some room around the outsides for us to maybe do a couple more. Maybe we could do something right here. I think that could be fun. So maybe we could even do one of these big ones. Maybe we'll get rid of this. I think I think we will. We're just going to get rid of the road. And then let's see if we can place that right there. Oh yeah, look at that. That is such a cool little building especially for a downtown and so i do want to go in here we're going to choose a couple of these and we're going to go into rico and we're going to go to add local and i want it to be residential and we're going to add and we'll say 100 even though it's probably more well uncheck that since i don't use the realistic population mod and let's go to save and apply changes and then let's go ahead and do this one as well. And we'll probably set this one to, to 100 as well so we'll go to 100 uncheck that save and apply changes perfect and then let's come over here and turn this into an office. So we're going to hit Rico, add local, go to office. Let's go ahead and do 50. We'll say that they're really big offices. So we'll do 50 and we'll do to save and apply changes. Is it only 50 jobs or 50? Yeah, so 50 jobs. So we're definitely going to have to pump that up. Let's go to, man, it'd probably be like a thousand jobs. Let's do a hundred jobs and then we'll, we'll come back through and, and change that because it's definitely in far from realistic to say that only 100 jobs are in there unless maybe half of it's residential or something all right and so now that these are grown in i do want to work on our little park areas and i actually have a pretty fun idea for this so if we go ahead and get rid of these and then what we're gonna do is grab our road go to a pedestrian road we're gonna go down let's do the blue stone with the tree in the middle so we'll grab this go like that and then let's go ahead and do a couple plazas off either side so we'll grab this let's try our best to center yeah so it's centered right there perfect and then let's do a path so we're going to grab this path and we are going to draw in these corners 
I think we're going to extend out some paths in here too. Like it looks like this is missing a path. So if we bring that up and then let's go ahead and connect this up, we'll go like that. Just to kind of, you know, that connectivity is so important. Looks like we've kind of missed an opportunity over here. But so now what I'm going to do is go in here and I'm going to search up curb and I'm going to do a small planter. I'm not going to get crazy with it. I just wanted to have a couple flowers and some trees. So I'm going to go up by two, go over by three, go like that. And then I want to kind of line this up, make it look just a little bit better. We'll go like this. Let's go ahead and drop it down a little bit in that page down button. Go like this. And then I'm just going to put some bushes and a couple trees in the middle. Yeah, there we go. I think that actually looks really good. So then now what I'll do is grab the marquee tool, select all of it. We want to make sure we got all those nodes and then copy it. Go across here. Let's go ahead and go over here. Looks like I'm a little off from that curb over there, which isn't the end of the world, but I kind of do wish that it was a little more lined up. So then we will go like this and then we will come over here and do the same thing. And you know what? I think that looks really good. And so we will raise these up. And now let's go ahead and put in a couple pergolas. So we'll come in here and it's kind of funny. I, I definitely use these pergolas a lot. I really like them though. I think that these are fantastic assets and I believe they came with yeah, the other plazas and prominence DLC. Kind of hope that with the financial districts, they add in just a few more assets as well. We're really getting with all the DLCs now, we're, we're getting a ton of assets, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and place those down. And then I think we're just going to do these modern planters with the little, they look like cactuses. I don't know if they're cactuses, but. We'll place that there, place this over here, and then let's go ahead and place this right here. And then what I'm going to do is use the move it mod, grab this, slide it over, and then grab all three of these holding shift and then copy it. And this is just to save a little bit of time. Um, using that copy tool can really go a long way since saving you time, especially in detailing, like if you're replicating anything, because um, it's a lot of times people don't get into detailing because they think of the amount of work that it's going to take. And, and don't get me wrong, like some builds like if you're extremely ambitious it'll take hours and hours and hours but, um it's fun when you do complete it and so now that we got that let's uncheck that copy tool go ahead and bring this back and then what we can do i want to just do a couple little bushes with some trees we're not going to get crazy though so we'll come over here let's go ahead and do this red one and you know let's actually backpedal a little bit i want to connect this up so we'll connect that up right there let's go ahead and connect this up over here and then let's go ahead and connect this up over there just so that we can get that little bit of walking access through here. We'll go ahead and connect this up and it helps to clean up that back little uh, planter back there. So now let's go back to our red bushes and we will go ahead and just do a couple of these. We'll probably cross them right there, cross them right there. I don't wanna overdo these, but I really like them. I like the color on these. I think they look fantastic. So then we'll go like that and let's go ahead and grab this shrub that I have. So we'll go like this, go like that, go like that. And then I think now what we'll do, we could use these cypress trees. Those actually look really good. So I was going to do the young lindens, but I think these cypress trees look awesome. So what we're going to do now is just cross these. Should we use those? They actually look a little weird. So we'll, we'll get rid of those. Let's go back to the initial plan. We're going to use these uh, young lindens. The most versatile tree in city skylines right here. So we'll grab these, bring them all the way down. And this is just to kind of clean it up. It cleans up that edge a little bit. I know I normally do bushes around, but I'm trying to just mix it up a little bit. I think that looks really good. I could do bushes or fences, but I really want it to be like an open space. And I think this looks really good. So now what we'll do is we're going to grab that move it mod and we want to try to line ourselves up. We're going to go all the way back here. We're going to go all the way down and it looks like we got everything. So now let's go ahead and copy that and let's um, get out of that first and clear these spaces first. So I'm going to go through and just delete all the trees, all the paths, paths and everything. And then we come back through and copy that over. All right. So I got them all clear. Now we can come in here and hit that copy button. Let's go ahead and line these up. So we want them to be like right there. Let's come over here, do the same thing. And we're going to have to redraw on that pedestrian road, but I'm not, not too worried about it. So then we will go ahead and go like this. And then let's come up here, do the same thing. Voila. And then this is a little off. So I think we're going to have to do something different for that side. But now let's come in here, delete our pedestrian road, come over here, go like that. And then we will grab that road again and redraw it in. So we'll come in here, go ahead and connect that up. And so now we have replicated that park and I actually think it looks really great. I love the look of that. We do need to go through here though and kind of fix some of these planters. You can see it's kind of below the ground there. That wouldn't be the greatest of looks, 
Yeah, and it does look like we maybe missed the curb on one side, but I'm gonna go through and just clean these up real quick, just to just because it's gonna bother me if they're not above ground. All right, so I got them all cleaned up and we still got a couple little areas. You know what I think we're gonna do in here? Let's go ahead, we're gonna change this up a little bit. So I wanna do wall to wall office in here. Yeah, we're gonna do it because I think like around this, it would just look awesome to have that wall to wall office. I really like the look of them. I think they look great. And then we can come in here, go ahead and go like that, go like that. And then let's um, fill in just a couple of these spaces. We do already have offices in here, but really wanna see this one growing. We don't have too much of a demand for industrial at this moment, but this is already looking pretty good. I think maybe even back here, let's do some more. We're just gonna get crazy with this. We could even do just a smidge. You know what? Yeah, that's, we're gonna do a small amount of the wall to wall commercial in here because I really like the look of them. So we're going to go into find it. We're going to going to delete that. We're going to go into growables. We'll go into the wall to wall commercial and we want vanilla to be on. And I just, you know, we're going to use these same buildings, but man, I love the look of these. We'll go ahead and switch them up. Go like this, go all the way down. Oh, it looks like it's just those three. These are definitely my favorite, one of my favorite buildings in the game now. I definitely placed them a lot. And so let's come through here now. So if we go like this, let's go ahead and place two. And then what we're gonna do is just grab them and shift them back a smidge so that it still shows that front side. Yeah, you know, that looks cool. I think that looks good. I like how they kind of match too. We got two orange and then two green. I like the look of that. But I think we will um, probably do more of those because those are definitely my favorite. Um, so we have, looks like organic and local produce over here. Oh, and we got a couple buildings from the, the new uh, Heart of Korea content creator pack. These definitely go a long ways to make the your commercial look a lot better now because one of the biggest issues uh, with a lot of people and with me is the vanilla um, commercial buildings just don't look great. But now that we're getting these newer ones in, like, look at this. It's this just such a great looking building. It's got good details. Got a little plaza, the grassy area on the top. Maybe you're like walking your dog. But then even in the front, like this just looks really good. Um, never mind the hill. I mean, this, this the hill looks really bad, but go ahead and at least fix our poor police station. So we'll grab that and then control each right there. Maybe that'll fix that building a little bit. It's already coming together pretty nicely. We um, still got a lot to do. Like we, we want to get some paths in here and then we want to uh, clean up the middle and I still want to do this whole area. So I think we'll actually move on to that right now and then we'll come back through and kind of detail this up. We still got some empty spaces and stuff. And so what we're going to do here is kind of crazy. So I want to overhaul most of it. So we're going to go ahead and bulldoze this whole section. We can actually keep it on pause because we're not going to be getting rid of any of the transportation stuff. I just want to create a little more amenities. So let's go ahead and get rid of this middle section, get rid of that, get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and remove all the concrete in here too, just so that we can kind of see what we're working with. So one of the cool things with this, um, if you haven't seen the episode, so I did underground um, tunnels for these. So I actually built out these little things. I did like a, the little concrete base with these glass coverings. And then if you go underground, you can see that they're all connected to each other, but then they're also connected to these tunnels that come up by the bus station and the tunnels that come up by the Metro. So the reason I did that was because we have fences around our trams. And so people didn't have to cross over the tram tracks and it was just a little bit safer but I also thought that it looked really good. So now we can go above ground, get rid of our red trees, even though that is my favorite tree. We'll go ahead and bulldoze those. This would be a huge project, but um, I really think that the city is gonna be, be proud of it once it's done. So we can get rid of these. We'll come back through and redraw on a lot of these, but we'll get rid of some of them. So I know I wanna do the food truck uh, plaza. So we'll come in here. I think we will, yeah, small food truck plaza. I wanna do this one like right in the middle. So we'll go like that. And then I think we're gonna do some sculpture. Oh, we, we don't need to be in find it, we need to be in here. So we'll come down here and grab this guy and lower our brush size. Let's go ahead and place this like right here. And we're gonna do two of them. These are nice little fountains. So we'll place that right there. Let's go ahead and place this right there. And then we do need to hook up some more paths. So we're gonna do some benches around those and then do some trees and stuff, some nice seating areas. And then for this middle section, what I want to do is actually use one of the pedestrian area landmarks. We're going to grab this and I would really like to get this like in the middle. No, we're just going to do it in the front. I was kind of hoping we could get it more centered, but it doesn't look bad right there. It's just a little off. So um, now we will connect this up. Now we have a nice little pedestrian kind of mall. I actually really like this asset a lot. Um, and I, I believe it's still a unique bill. Yeah, it is. So it does generate traffic on its own, which is nice. 
and we are going to upgrade our tram roads to pedestrian tram roads. So I want to come in here. We're going to use the blue stone since that's what we did for our little parks. And we are going to upgrade these away from the LRT tracks, which I do really like. It's they're awesome assets. Um, and we're going to kind of mess up some of our fences too, but I really like the the pedestrian tram tracks. I think they just look really nice, um, especially these little blue stone ones. They look good. Could even change out our trams now too. These are custom ones that I'd gotten off of the Steam Workshop, but now there's other trams as well, which these are pretty highly detailed. I don't know if we'll change them. These ones are actually really nice trams. So we do need to do our path now. So we'll grab this. Let's go ahead. Let's turn off snapping. So control S. We're going to have this go all the way back. We'll go like right there. And then let's go ahead and have this one go all the way back as well and it does look like we um, kind of messed this one up so we want to reconnect that and then we do want a couple paths in here as well so maybe we'll grab this go like that and then have this come up and then go around and then let's go ahead and copy that on this side come around go like that go like this and then that way these are now connected up to the outside which is good people can get onto them by either these two middle sections or these sections on the outside, which is fantastic. I do want to go ahead and place down our benches in here just so that we can kind of see what we got going on. So if I come in here and search a bench, so let's come in here and place a couple of these down. I just want to go around it. Nice. I actually really like this. Sitting off the backside probably wouldn't be the best. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, uh, benches around this one as well. Yeah, I decided not to do benches off that backside just because I, I feel like it's a little weird to be weird to sit off that backside. So let's do, let's see if we can get, I don't want to just use those standard pergolas. I, I know I have some other ones where well, I got this nice circle one, which I've used these for like wedding reception areas in the past. They actually, I really like the look of them. Let's see how it looks off that side though. It's a little low. Let's see if we can raise that up just a smidge. It's not allowing me to raise it. Uh, so it appears as though it doesn't go up. So we're gonna have to scratch that. Just doesn't look great in there. What we could do is just have a path go in and then do um, some planters. I actually think that could be good. So if we go like this, have that connect up and then go like this. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then let's um, go ahead and connect this up too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And there we go. And so it's created a couple little spaces in there. I think what I wanna do is do a couple planters. So if we grab this, go like this, I guess that works a little bit better. But then what I can do is the same thing that I did on the other side. So I'll just grab a curb and then go ahead and draw it in here. And we're going to have to be kind of careful. It's really small. So we'll go out over here and then we'll come up diagonally and then we will connect that up. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So we'll grab this. We want to try to hide those lines as best we can. So we'll go like that and then we will come back and it's not going to allow me to connect this one. So let's actually connect it up and then move it with the move it mod. Go like that. Go ahead and go down. And it looks a little off on this side. So if we grab that, line it up a little bit and then let's go ahead and do another one right here. And we can actually just have this one end in the building. And so this is, you know, I mean, I, I've used these curbs a lot in the past, but they really go a long ways to help accentuate what you're building. And it really just looks good, especially these concrete seating curbs. I, so these are technically high curbs that people can also sit on. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the same thing on this side with the curbs. And then I think I'm just gonna do some bushes and then I think we will do a small pergola back here, even though I said that I was going to try to stay away from it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in real quick. We're going to have to be a little bit wider on this side. Okay, so I got them in. I really like this uh, corner now. I think that this is an awesome little addition. Just did a couple um, trees and then some bushes in there. Nothing too crazy. I do want to try to get something back here, though. So we got a nice little plaza up there. It'd be nice to get maybe just a small bit of like wall-to-wall -wall commercial in there. I think that that would be a nice addition for this area. Just some small shops. So let's go ahead and open up another tab. Go into Grubble. We'll go back into wall-to-wall. -wall, and let's do our favorite little buildings in here. So we'll grab this. Go ahead and go down. Go like that. Let's go ahead and copy that on this side. We'll go like that. And then what we can do, let's go ahead and look for some other commercial. And let's come in here. I want it to be a little bit bigger. You know, let's actually... Yeah, I, love, I like these buildings, but I think having the walking ones is going to be a little bit better for this area. So we'll go ahead and get rid of these, and then I think we will do these ones. I really like these ones. They got nice walking areas underneath them. They really look good in this area. Like if you come down here, they got little pathways underneath them and stuff. So let's go ahead and move this over, and we might be able to fit another one. So if we move that over, let's go back in there and see if we can fit one right there. 
Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. So smash it right there. And then let's go ahead and move this one sideways. So we'll grab this with move it. I think I'm on that other building I am. So we'll go ahead and go like this. So now we got some small little shopping area in here. Let's go ahead and line up those pillars. Let's go like that. Yeah, you know what, I like that. It's even got little walking areas in the back. I think that's a fantastic look. So let's come in here now. Let's um, fill this in with concrete, fill that in. Let's go ahead and fill this in. And we can probably do some decals in here too. I don't know if we're going to, but we could. Let's go ahead and go like that. And then let's see how that looks. So actually, you know what? I, I think this is coming together pretty nicely. Um, so what we could do is do some decals. So if we come in here and search up decal, let's go ahead and look at a couple and see just how it looks. So, I mean, the cobblestone would look great. Done cobblestone quite a bit. We could do, I don't think the wood's going to look that good, especially being outdoors. I think the cobblestones, the first ones that we looked at are probably going to be our best ones. So these are nice looking. Oh, and this is a corner. So we want this one. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill this whole middle section with decals and just fill it all in with cobblestone to kind of clean it up, especially with those ped roads. I think it's going to look nice. All right. So what started out as decals um, ended up being something much larger. I decided to just do the planters and then I did um, little bollards going all the way around at all of our entrances, just to make it a little bit safer. Um, I did planters with lights and then I did big planters in the middle with our red trees, just to kind of bring them back. I did get a little crazy with the decals and pretty much fill in the whole space. It was a decent amount of work, but I think it was definitely worth it. It looks really good. I like the overall look of this now. This definitely looks a lot better than it did. And so now I want to move on to these other other sections now. And what I'm thinking is we'll do a couple small commercial areas in here, some more walkable areas. We really want to encourage people to kind of come here and spend the day. And that's really um, what these transit centers are all about is how can we, you know, build up around them and, and make them more useful for people to encourage people to take them. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of this. I'm tempted to get rid of the big bus station too, but I don't think we're going to because we could do a smaller one. I just, I don't know, you know, part of me is, I'm just not sure if that would be the best call. I and mean, then we could do either shops or something around here. I kind of wish that the new plazas and promenades metro stop was this many stops. I wish there was four stops but there's only two. And so we really can't fit that in here unless we were to try to get two of them in, it'd be kind of tight. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use more wall-to-wall -wall commercials over here. And I think we will end up using those buildings that kind of wanted to in the first place, but then we use those other ones that we may end up using those buildings again. I really like those ones. So we'll go to Growable. And then let's actually check out those bigger ones first. So we gotta get rid of the fence, get rid of it on this side too. And then let's come back in here. Yeah, you know what? I think these are gonna be a better fit. So if we go, like that yeah so it creates like a whole walking area in there i think those these buildings are great so we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here do a bigger one and it is kind of interesting i mean it's the same kind of layout but i think it's a good look so let's go ahead and fill in the rest with concrete we'll go like this we could actually do like a, a fountain on the end i think that that could be good because it's kind of like the same entrance like you're coming into the corner it's like a nice line of sight and so for back here what we could do is maybe just some small shops let's um see about those these ones so if we do these going all the way down so if we like mix these up just go all the way down how does this look so if we come down here yeah you know what i mean i would like the look of it I think too, we could bring back our path. So if we jump out of here, let's do our concrete path and maybe we'll, I think we're gonna get rid of this one, go into the path, come up here. And then this way we can, let's go into the corners for this one. I go like that and then go this way. So now we have a little bit of connectivity back and then um, we can kind of come through here and decorate this, make it look good. I think we'll save the rest for a big detailing time-lapse though. So if we go ahead and go like this, yeah, you know what? I think that looks good. And there's still a little bit of parking back here. So maybe there's like some road access other than driving through the front. So maybe this would be um, safe to have back here too, other than just a path. Maybe we could even put in like just a gate, small little fence. So if we do, we'll do a fence like right here, just to make it a little bit safer. I, I really don't know how those cars would be getting into those spots with that fence that close. But so if we grab that and just go back like right there, just make it a, a, again a little bit safer. And then that way we can come back through here and um, just do some more decorations. I think we'll do more than just these little trees too. I felt like they had planters, but I think through the updates and stuff, I lost them. Cause that's one of the things if you're losing assets and stuff, 
if you're using assets, um, you tend to lose them when you get updates. Like a, a lot of different things get lost. Like if we come over here and kind of see that this is missing a lot of its original detail. Um, this was one of my favorite builds too. This was one of the first like really detailed things that I did was this parking lot. Then even if you come over here, you can kind of see I eventually had to change this because I had lost so many of these and going back constantly to redo things was just really tiring. And we got a lot of issues over here. Is there so dead person? Do we have death care over here? So death care. So we have one right there. So let's um, let's get a crematorium down here. This would be really bad. All right. So I think this is coming together pretty nicely. I really like this middle section. I do want to still do a bunch of detailing around the outside. But we got our parks in our little centerpieces. We got services. Do we have a hospital in here? Let's see if we got a hospital. So we have that. We have a little medical clinic. So let's put down a hospital. Maybe we'll use this space for a hospital. So if we go ahead and place this like right there and then let's do a parking lot just because hospitals would definitely need parking. Let's go ahead and do some of these new covered spots. So if we go in here and use a one unit road and have this cut across, go like that, we should be able to place these covered roads. We go like that. How does this look? really like these ones. I think these look great. It's on a hill, so it's not the greatest look. Let's um, grab all these and we'll grab this road. Let's bring it all up to one. So there we go. So now we got a hospital with covered parking. We got all of our regular services. We don't really have anything over here. Let's maybe put some, a couple little high density commercials in here. Just, just some small stuff, nothing too crazy. We still got some space to kind of fill in, but overall I think this looks good. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. I'm gonna clean up all these little edges we got. I'm gonna probably put in a couple more buildings just to kind of fill in these spaces. I wanna do a plaza, just overall clean it up. But I'm, I think this is a really good look so far. I'm really happy about the expansion. All right, so I have finally finished and I think this looks really good. So I ended up doing some curbs around here with some flower beds kind of next to our bus station, but then I did another big kind of grassy with a couple bushes and trees in here. Did a few statues right on our corner just so that we could get that kind of sight line coming in. I really feel like that's a cool entrance into this area, having those statues. Now on each corner we have like a, a cool entrance so you can kind of come in and see this and 
just looks like a really grand open area. Like it would be somewhere where you would want to visit. Um, I did add in a few plazas over here. Kind of looks like um, we got some buildings in here, which I don't want those. That, that kind of blocks our little view of this. Um, I think that that looks a little weird. So we will get rid of that and go like this. So I did this plaza here. I did a couple planters back here just to kind of clean it up, some trees and stuff. And then over here did another plaza. This one's a custom one. I did some colors in there, a couple little smaller things with some bushes and then planter networks going around with some benches. And then I did the purple tree kind of plaza over here. I ended up doing some commercial to kind of fill in some of the gaps in the corner. I felt like having that wall to wall commercial in there would just be a really nice fit kind of add to the walkability of the area like you can just kind of walk around and go view all the shops and stuff um so for the rest of the area what i did i um went ahead and did trees pretty much covering all the lines like i normally do i did do a couple rows of trees in areas where i felt like it was more appropriate so i did a line of trees back here a line of trees back there i think it was on all the commercial areas i ended up doing a line of trees so yeah line of trees right there and right here i just felt like it made it look a little bit cleaner rather than um, placing down trees for more of a natural look. But then the rest of the area, what I did, I, I placed down trees. I ended up doing fences around a lot of our schooling areas. I think our high school, I did a fence around. Some of our elementaries, I just did little bushes and stuff. But like this area, I did a fence around and then some uh, tall burial trees around it just to kind of help accentuate it. Um, but I think this looks really good. I really like this build. I'm actually super excited about the idea of kind of redeveloping stuff. I feel like Crater Lake has a lot that we could do and and I think for the financial districts, we're actually going to redevelop our business districts since this is kind of what this is all about. And so I think that there is um, some fun things ahead. I, I believe it comes out next week. But go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.